Hey, what's good, everyone? It's your boy, Matt Diazwell, coming at you with a new EP review. Thanks for coming on by. Today, I'm checking out the band Body Snatcher with their latest EP called Vile Conduct. Body Snatcher is a deathcore band based out of Melbourne, Florida. They've been around for, I want to say, like 10 years, just grinding it out with a lot of DIY shows, putting out some uh, killer merch, and just working their butts off, showing off their dark, furious, and just aggressive style of deathcore. Uh, lately, deathcore has been kind of on the rise, and I feel like these are these guys are one of those new... Uh, uh, Deathcore 2.0 bands or 3.0, depending on where we're at with the uh, the level of Deathcore, because uh, it's all kind of making a comeback right now. And these guys are doing a good job of uh, being the new forerunners of that. And as I was doing research for this uh, band, I didn't realize that some of the members were in an older band called King Conquer that I was a pretty big fan of when they came through San Antonio a couple of times. I uh, got to meet some of the members. They were really cool guys and everything really really uh dope band that kind of like went under the radar for a bit i think they're a really great band uh early deathcore style stuff so if you like deathcore go check out king conquer if you like body snatcher you'll like king conquer and um yeah so this latest ep from this band uh this is the first time i've ever fully listened to them gotta say we're getting into some heavy stuff both uh sonically and lyrically with this latest ep from body snatcher i feel like they're trying to convey the message of life is quite terrible it can be shitty and not saying that's like a good thing or anything or like you know they want to like uh glorify that but i think they're really trying to put out what's uh been affecting their lives for a long time through their music and it's just like life is tough life is hard with this ep they're doing their part in a weird way with death metal and deathcore music to try and make the world a better place, I wanna say, by talking about really like negative and like, I won't say taboo things, but things that are just really not like well received because they're just terrible things like betrayal, contempt for humans, drug abuse and depression. But you know, they it's, it's good to talk about these things because life is really rough. And they're trying to let other people know that, hey, you're not the only one going through this stuff. There's a lot of people going through these problems and we're here together to get over these shitty situations. And I gotta say the lyrical content on this EP is quite phenomenal about just cause what they're talking about. It's really good content. Because I gotta say the biggest highlight about this EP is the lyrical content. The Just the things they talk about and just what they're saying here is just so deeply personal and just really like profound in a lot of ways like on the song murder eight before the breakdown and everything this has to be one of the hardest like break uh call outs before a breakdown one of the hardest lyrics i've ever heard and just it just rips your soul apart when you hear this and it just sucks every time i hear it but it's like the best thing at the same time it's very very emotional so i want you to hear this and so you can get a sense of like what these guys are talking about what they're feeling and just how heavy they are emotional uh lyrically great chills every time i hear that it's just so emotionally heavy and shout out to the drummer in this band uh, i don't know about the other members but i know that line really hits hard because certain members of his family have passed away because of fentanyl so if i can do anyway and help out don't do drugs don't do fentanyl stay away from that stuff and rip to all his close ones and everyone who's lost lost uh lost anyone to drug overdoses so. now outside of the lyrics the band itself i gotta say that you know because there's certain members of king conquer and other deathcore bands that have been around for a long time i do feel like the, some of the songs on here feel a little bit dated and like really pull from that 2010s uh deathcore style because they have some really big riffs here big bold drums but Overall, at times, it can feel very generic. The breakdowns on this EP are heavy for sure, but I feel like they lack some kind of feeling to them. 
because they're very, very heavy, but like there's like nothing else to them. They feel a little bit flat and empty in a weird way. Like on the breakdown for Severed, it's big, it's heavy. I feel like I should like it, but in the end, there's just something not there that's just compelling me to like, or like resonating in me that just makes me like, oh, this is awesome. It's just kind of, yeah. So I'll play a clip of that for you right now. It just feels a little by the books besides that little guitar part right there. It just feels a little bland. So vocals, weirdly enough, uh, I want to say they sound a bit tamed because there's not too much variation when it comes to the main vocalist's vocals. So you get kind of like the same style for him throughout the whole song or the whole EP. So it just feels very tamed and repetitive and not very different besides like a few times when like uh, a backing uh, member would do some vocals instead or when like they have guest vocalists from uh, Jamie Josta of Hapri. That helps switch things up a little bit. But overall, the vocals, yes, heavy, dense, but there's not enough variation in it to seem interesting. I would say one of the highlights of this band and this EP would be the drumming. Uh, the drummer at times, not very often, but at times has some really interesting fills and uh, drum rolls that sound pretty dope. Uh, he's got a, a good mix of fast and slow playing, but a lot of the times his drumming does feel a little bit just too repetitive and similar. But at times he can spice things up a little bit and make things kind of fun to listen to, like on uh, the first opening track, Infested. Uh, he's got some good, uh, I guess, fast drumming here with some good drum fills that sound pretty dope. So I'll play a clip of that for you right now. Drums sound really dope. Everything else is kind of like, eh. I feel like this is a true passion project from the band because lyrically, this these lyrics are probably some of the hardest and probably some of the most emotional lyrics you will listen to throughout the year. And I cannot stress how much I, li I like the lyrics here and just the weight they carry. There's just so much pain and like like hurt in them that it, I, I don't want to say it feels good because that sounds bad, but you know, it just, it hits you in the right feelings, I feel like. Uh, unfortunately, the rest of the band, it just feels a little bit uh, too cut and dry, too generic a lot of the times and a bit bland in terms of vocals, guitar riffs, the bass playing. The drums are a little bit interesting here and there, but overall, you know, it's deathcore, deathcore. There's not too much variation here. Uh, so I would say this uh, EP from Body Snatcher is a good and solid 7 out of 10. Links down below, check them out. They're, they do pretty good. Uh, I think right now they're actually on tour with uh, Fit for an Autopsy. So go check them out if they're in your town. Um, yeah, and like, subscribe, and comment. And tell me what I should check out next. Till next time, guys. See you in the pit.